Now we're moving on to exercise 6B of getting to know ArcGIS desktop, uh, updated for ArcGIS 9.3. And this exercise will be uh, classifying features manually, um, and more specifically will be classifying raster data. Um, this is on being on page 150, 147 of your book. Go ahead and open exercise 6B. Rather than, we are still looking at the Africa data, but in exercise 6b, we will go back uh, one step and look at the topography data that, um, that, we, that we showed earlier in uh, chapter 5. Switch on over to the data view. And, um, yes, this may look familiar with the elevation and the hill shades. Uh, go ahead and um, jump to the bookmark elevation area. Because, um, as mentioned in step three, this area here is actually underwater. And for uh, various research reasons, it may be relevant for us to uh, specifically show which areas may be uh, prone to flooding. Um, and this is a, a l uh, an area between somewhere in the border between Egypt and Eritrea. So, how do we classify... Uh, something manually. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you, by now you're getting used to being to double clicking on uh, on on the, the layer uh, and obviously uh, symbology. Before uh, we had uh, stretch data, uh, this time we're going to use classified. Um, this lets us you know, change things manually. Um, the color ramp is is not what we want. We want um, we want uh, elevation. Um, elevation. Last time we used elevation one. Now we'll be using elevation two, just to just to be different. There's not a large difference between elevation and one and elevation two. Um, yeah, just to show uh, a subtle difference between elevation one and elevation two. Color ramp. Um, let's also change the number of classes to ten. Uh, to give more nuances. Before it was stretched, so things were um, stretched over uh, the color ramp, and now each uh, pixel will be getting its own color, so we want to divide those colors up even more to give uh, a, a less stark contrast between different elevations. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and look at the, let's look at the histogram to, uh, to label things. And as you see, uh, these are the, the ten, uh, 10 breaks that were added. But we don't want to use the natural breaks. We want to use manual breaks. So go ahead and change the classification from natural breaks jenks, to manual. Um, and this will allow us, for example, to click on that. You'll click on 287, which is the first break value. Um, and that break value will... Um, will be highlighted in red. You can actually change this uh, with a slider, um, but we want to be more precise. We want to put the first break at zero. There we go. So now you see the, the first break is at zero, and everything below, uh, below sea level is an aquamarine. But you know what? That looks an awful lot like the color of, of, this, of the ocean. Uh, so we'll we want for our purposes to really highlight that it's under under sea level so what's you know more more highlighting it than, than red um, go ahead and click on red not forgetting that our display is still at 70 percent transparency so it won't be that bright red anyway uh, if you click on apply you'll see now uh, the colors are slightly more muted than expected because of the transparency uh, but it's it's pretty obvious that this area is below sea level, and the rest is um, the rest is above sea level. Um, again, the key is still messy, so we'll go back uh, for and this is now step eleven on page one fifty three. The, the labels, well, look at that. That's a little of a mess. We'll go ahead and format the labels. Well, uh, well, we don't want decimal places, so we'll bring that actually to zero. 
And yeah, we'll keep the, the thousand separators as they are. You, can, you, can, you don't have to, but uh, I think that's, uh, that's nice. So this is much more acceptable. Um, and uh, we'll just uh, want to go back to the display previously, which was... Um, Zoom to layer. There we are. Back to the uh, the level that we were at before. Do uh, classification, manual classification. Looking at the atlas again, we now see you know our changes uh, as we as we had wished. We are now finished with exercise 6B. If you would like to save your data, now would be the time and move on to exercise 6C.